body-specific immune response to HIV by Chris Nasta and Ryan Delaney. HIV is also known as a human immunodeficiency virus that causes a condition in humans in which progressive failure of the immune system allows viruses and bacteria to thrive and kill humans due to a weak immune system. The body res responds to viruses and other diseases through the adaptive or acquired immune system response. This means that your body is able to tell if an invader, like a virus or bacteria, has entered your body. Your body recognizes this invader and uses a number of different tactics to destroy it through cell-mediated response and humoral, humoral response. The HIV antigen aims, to, aims at killing helper T cells and B cells in the immune system. This happens through macrophages in the body. HIV is also always changing itself, and by doing that, it stops the attack by the antibodies that come from the plasma B cells and immune cells that normally control infections in the body. Antibodies help fight infection from the antigen, which is also known as the virus in this case. Immune cells like memory T cells and memory B cells can only look for viruses that were either previously in the body or the previous strain. So the virus can in some way escape the immune system and continue killing cells. Here's a basic outline how the virus invades and spreads in the body. First, the virus affects the body and cells display antigens. Second, the macrophage takes the virus inside itself and the macrophage activated activates helper T cells. Then the helper T cells activate cytotoxic T cells, which kill just about anything in B cells. B cells then form plasma cells, which make antibodies to fight the antigen. The antibodies then attach to the virus and the cytotoxic T cells destroy the remaining affected cells. HIV destroys memory CD4 T cells that have been primed to rapidly respond to infections. When this happens, different everyday virus and common illnesses that normally would not kill an HIV negative person can kill an HIV positive person due to the weak immune system. Interleukin-1 is a protein that regulates the inflammatory response in the body when a virus infects the immune system. Interleukin-2 is also a protein that is very important to the immune system by controlling the white blood cells that are also known as lymphocytes. If you have HIV in your body, then you have HIV antibodies working in the immune system to help fight off the infection. To recap, the antibodies help slow down the disease, but it is well known in science that there is no stopping HIV for good. They just help slow down the disease as best as possible. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes or cells play a major role in controlling virus levels through the asymptomatic period of HIV infection. They help fight off the virus and help the infected have little or no symptoms. The body's immune response will help fight off the foreign invader or invaders to the best of its ability through specific immune response. And that's it.